we get straight to our other top story of the night. Vigo County school leaders have approved a budget that would save the corporation $5.2 million in budget cuts. We've been telling you about the proposed budget since October. You'll remember it includes several phases, including elementary school consolidation, closing McLean Alternative High School, cutting pay for administrators, and slowing the corporation's bus replacement schedule. We have team coverage for you tonight. First, News 10's Jada Huddleston. She was at tonight's meeting. Jada's live in our newsroom to break down what this means for your children. Patrice, school leaders approved the budget cuts tonight. Now, with those budget cuts in the recently passed referendum, they would help with the school corporation's deficit spending. Now, let's just go ahead and break down what that means for you. What was approved tonight is a little bit different than what was originally proposed back in October. Tonight, we learned that the estimated $1.5 million for a pause on bus replacement will now bring in $1.7 million. The other change, instead of pay cuts for central administrative staff, the board approved to reduce the number of permanent positions. Now that means instead of absorbing four administrative positions, it will now be six. There are also three phases to the proposed cuts. Now part of those include consolidating elementary schools from 18 to 16 and eventually 15. It also includes consolidating both alternative education programs, Booker T. Washington High School and McLean High School. These phases will save the corporation about $5.72 million. School leaders say tonight's meeting was just the first step to get things moving in the right direction. We need to right size our budget in order to fit our current enrollment. And uh, tonight was one of the first steps in doing that. Uh, and so we're looking forward to the hard work of making sure that we have a sustainable school corporation moving forward. Now, just to be clear, no elementary schools will be consolidated by the next academic year. The corporation still has to create the task force to decide which schools will be consolidated in that process. You can read the original presentation on the three phases over on our website, WTHITV.com. Now, also at tonight's school board meeting, leaders approved a plan that will allow teachers to receive retroactive pay. News 10's Rondrell Moore is in our studio to break that down.